But anyways, we do have the data download up here. Might as well grab it, as well as what looks like another room. Maybe another couple rooms. I don't know. Let's see. Integrating new PDA data. Enzyme 42 data download. Ooh, some more things to scan, you guys. What's this? Some more critters? Looks like a preserved fetus of a what? A drat? Sea Emperor fetus. Ooh. Ooh, nasty. So it's preserved. I assume it's dead, but look at that thing. Look at that face reveal. I can't crouch. But that is a fetus. So, of course, it is a pre baby. So I assume a baby's going to be massive if that's just the fetus. Maybe a little bit bigger than that, honestly. That is an egg, preserved egg casing. Of course, that egg has already been either hatched or maybe someone already had some delicious breakfast. I don't know. <laughs> but that is it. What was that again? Sea Emperor Egg? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we need to read about here, you guys. What is in this? Nothing in there. Some sort of, like, sick museum going on inside of here, though, you guys. And there's nothing else there. What about over here? Is there now nah, nothing there? I, I assume these are cases for future iterations of the Sea Emperor Critter. So, did we already scan the fetus? Yeah, we did. All right. So we have a lot of things to read about. I definitely want to go activate the uh, the Stargate. Oh, that thing is still fake. Yeah, look at that. It's fake. I wonder if I could actually mine this while it's fabricating it. Yeah, look at that. You could physically see it. Can I mine that? It looks. Nah, nah, you can't. But yeah, yeah, it's basically making unlimited. I forget which one of these I went into. I feel like each one of these has its own uh, portal, maybe. Perhaps there's like millions of different entrances. Yeah, I forgot that we're not underwater, so I can't just like jump up. Basically unlimited. You jump and then you're good. You jump and then you're good. So you can't just have one long stride of a jump. Like you can whenever you're underwater, unfortunately, but it does seem like I'm moving a little bit faster. Than if I was on foot, so. This is what I'm kind of thinking, is that each one of these, like, rooms has its own teleporter that goes to a different part of the map, and perhaps each one of these... It might... Oh, whoa! Now I'm 300 meters below. Did you guys see that? It was like seven. It was like 1,400 meters, and now it's 300 meters. Basically instantly, so I can only imagine... Oh, whoa! Am I under... Where am I at now? A lot of wow, wow. Look at all the stalag. I think those are tights, right? Stalag tights up there. Stalag mites down here, right? So, you know, M for mountain. What is that? Is that? Oh, that's like a... Yeah, that's one of those... I was about to say, it's like an alien artifact. I could scan... Is this another... I, I have never heard of another island from my minimal research, but there may be a third island that we're on right now. Oh, wait, hold on. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. You guys remember, I don't even know how many episodes it'd be by now, but that, remember we tried to activate this, but we couldn't, because I was like, yeah, no, 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 like, thing is coming out of the ground. But little did I know that there were entrance portals and exit portals. This was an exit portal. That's why this little thing never came out of the ground. But if I was able to activate it, it'd skip us all the way, basically, to where we're going, right? So it's kind of crazy, but I do want to see if each one of these rooms basically takes you to... How many ion cubes do I... Oh, yeah, I need to go grab another ion cube if I want to go... Uh, and that, that fabricator is probably done making like 10 more of them. So that's good. But I do need to go... Yes, it is. It's done. I need to go into each one of these corners. Let... Wow, this might be another room right here. Where is this taking us? Water slide! Oh my gosh! Okay, so it seems like it's some sort of... Water. Like a like a museum for watery type crit. Well, then again, the uh, Sea Emperor thing. That's a water critter, right? So, I guess we'll be investigating that a little bit more here in just a moment. But yeah... Just right off the bat, that does look like a another Stargate right here, you guys. So, I can only imagine where this one's going to take us. We do need to go into the, uh, there we go, and then open storage. Let's grab another cube. Look at all these cubes we have, though. Nice. Activate this. Insert Ion Cube. I, I love how when we first got Ion Cube, I was so careful with them, you know? But now we have so many of them. We have a literal Ion Cube fabricator making millions of these things. 241 depth. Hmm. Went from four, 1,400 to 241. 
Hopefully it's not going to take us underwater, but you never know, it may. Uh, it's... Where in the world is this? Huh. Oh, whoa, the lighting changed significantly right there, wow. Yeah, this is a completely new location. Uh, Degazi Island's 1,400 meters away. That's, wow. We just teleported 1,800 meters right there. Death Valley's 2,000. Lost River North is about 1,000. Wow, we are really far away from, like, everything. And another window. Shale Outcrop. Diamond, wow. Oh, my gosh. It looks like, uh, yeah, we are relatively shallow right here, so. Um, shale out crops. Yeah, a little bit of gold right there, which is good. Of course, we do need that. Salt here. What? Where in the... This is extremely hidden. You got... Oh my gosh! We're in the mushroom forest! Holy, and there's a... Is that... Creature... Whoa, okay, that's a creature egg. I was about to say, like, what in the world is that? I thought it was like a... There's another one up there. Huh. Can I get... Do I have enough... I do have enough inventory space. I do want to kind of... Go hatch these in the alien containment hull fragment. In the alien containment, uh, f uh, what is it called? A, like, unit or something like that? Not a facility, I don't think, right? But I do want to go there sometime and, you know, hatch these new eggs now that we have a. Oh, wait. Is that a. Hold on. No, that's a different critter. I was about to say, is that a. One of those critter? Lithium, nice. Ah, I forgot what it's called. Cuttlefish. I thought that maybe it was one of those cuttlefish, because it's, it's kind of got that look to it a little bit. Wow, look at how hidden this is, you guys. We never found it, or at least I haven't. Maybe some of you guys, if you guys are playing, maybe you guys found this place just randomly, but... Man, this is extreme. I can only imagine the other ones are just as hidden. And I assume... Maybe one of these is going to take us to the underwater one that's, you know, outside of the, uh, quarantine of Fortnite. Either that, or maybe that one's, like, out of commission. Maybe that one just doesn't work anymore, huh? Anyways, we're at 1,400 meters again. Yeah. Teleported it extremely right there. Took a little bit of damage there for whatever, probably fall damage. <laughs> I can only imagine we just randomly took fall damage right there. But let's go see if we can find, uh, any more information. As well as, I guess, mine some more of that. Just because why not? As well as open up that... Because that is going to be a big old storyline thing right there, I can only imagine! So, let's make this thing call. Oh yeah, we do have things to read about too, you guys. We have a lot of things to read about, like all those, like, artifacts that we just read about. The Sea Emperor fetus and egg and stuff to read about as well. So, man, before we go into that secondary area, we definitely want to go uh, read about some of these things. Because... This is like hardcore storyline stuff we're missing here, you guys, if we don't read about them. So I am only sure that that goes into some sort of huge storyline area. So don't want to go in there just yet, as well as I want to go to that like water slide looking area, too. <laughs> I want to go there. I don't know if we've activated this one already. Maybe we have. Uh, we have not. OK, well, let's go use one of those ion cues. We just mined and uh, oh, whoops. No, nope, no, nope, get out of there. Get out of there. There you go. And open storage and grab. Nice. And we do have those critter eggs as well. See where this one ends up taking us whenever we activate it. I assume each one of these is going to 1430 down to 613. I think that's a little bit too deep. I think it's a little bit too deep for that one. So if we hopefully, hopefully we find another one and it ends up taking us to the, uh, is this, um, this is another lost river sort of. Um, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I think I just said that we were, yeah, this is the Lost River entrance one. Yeah, this one. You guys remember the one I was like, yeah, well, look at all those slight tides. I got, I confused that one for this one. This is the one that's like at the entrance of the Lost River that we saw just like a couple episodes ago. Yeah, so the other one, I don't know where that one takes us. I might, I need to go back through that one and try and figure that one out. Might need to put like a beacon next to each one and be like, yeah, this one takes you this uh, direction. This one takes you here. This one takes you there. You know, all that kind of stuff. So I definitely need to kind of label each one of these. Hopefully there's at least one more of these that needs to be activated because I can only imagine that one's either out of commission or maybe the teleport to that one is like in a completely different area. And I'm kind of leaning on the it's out of commission 
Well, either that or it's this one. This is the last one, you guys. I'm pretty sure it is. Because I'm pretty sure we would have gotten in a circle by now. I'm actually genuinely surprised this one wasn't activated. So let's actually activate this one now. With, I assume, the final ion cube. And of course, the rest of them that we mine from the fabricator. Those are going to be basically profit cubes that we can turn into power cell, like ion cells, ion power cells, and ion batteries and stuff like that, right? So that's going to be cool. And, you know, I just need a little bit more, uh, Oh, whoa, 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 oh, that thing is attacking me now. Yeah, that thing went through the there it is. Just exploded. Jeez. This is yet another one of those stalactite locations. A lot, a lot of stuff going on here, you guys. 282 meters depth. And yet another wow. That one must have been stranded here or something. Huh. Attack you, you piece of trash. Basically a cave crawler, right? <laughs> but it's a electronic cave crawler. Yeah, I don't want to go too deep into this, you guys. But, yeah, here's that, like, window that, like, separates the depth. Where is this? I don't know, but there's a piece of metal salvage. Calorie intake recommended. Yeah, I do need to eat some food. I think we're at about 25% right now, right? Yeah, 20 right there, so I can eat a nutrient block. It'll be fine. That's good, that's good. So, I... Uh, I feel like we would have, yeah, I know, I just took a little bit of damage right there, whatever. <laughs> I, I feel like that one that I'm wanting to go to, man, 2,500, man, where in the world am I? You waffles a thousand meters, nothing that way. Degazi, oh, I'm somewhat close to Degazi, 700 meters from Degazi Island, huh? I really wish there was, like, an actual map you could look at on this. I know there is online, but, like, an official, like, in-game map, that'd be kind of cool. Either way, let's go back through the wormhole with Morgan Freeman. And let's go back and... I assume... Oh, God, I'm taking more damage. From what? I really don't know what I'm taking damage from right there, you guys. It's stupid. <laughs> uh, either way, I do feel like that was the last one that we could activate. Just getting a... Man, there's a lot of smoke whenever I jump from this thing, huh? It's kind of crazy, but yeah. I feel like we went to that one first. And down there, that's the, uh... Oh! I don't know what that was. I assume it has something to do with this, then, uh... The mining of the ion cubes. Let's mine them! I don't know how many we get from these, like, three? Either way, three is still a really good amount, right? So there's one, two... Grab that second one. Uh... No! No! Yeah, it looks like... Th three. There's two right there added to storage vehicle. Vehicle storage. And then three. So yeah, it does seem like you get the three per thing, so... Anyways, I guess we can just kind of leave that right now. And then check this one. I believe this is the first one that we activated, right? And of course, this one takes us to... I think the location that we got confused. Yeah, that one's already activated, yep. So, yeah, I guess that one that we're thinking of, that one must be like out of commission or something. So, very, very interesting stuff, you guys. Anyways, where's the location? Is this it? Is this where we're going? The one with the water slide? Is this? Because I do want to... Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's get our scanner around, because of course we're going to be scanning a lot of stuff. There's the brain coral. I guess this is where they're storing fauna, huh? Or uh, flora, not fauna. I guess the other one was for fauna, huh? Or I guess they could be storing fauna here, too. But there's a data download here, or data terminal. Integrating new PDA data. Inflow pipe. Ooh, so I guess this is like circulating fresh water. In and out of this aquarium. Huh. Very, very... Oh, wow, it goes even deeper. I assume maybe the deeper you go, the you're going to find the fauna. And there's, like, some more pipes circulating all this stuff. Outflow pipe, ooh. So I guess this is just dirty, used water. Enzyme host peepers leaving... Oh, yeah, remember the, uh, the, the vents? Remember those vents that we found? I guess they're connected to these all over the map. Wow. Huh, things are really adding up here, you guys. Wow, I'm liking all this storyline stuff, like, slowly but surely connecting pieces together and getting, like, uh, like, puzzle pieces together and eventually getting a full picture you can look at, you know? Man, I'm liking that. I don't want to fall down there. I assume you could just go down there by going, you know, taking the more proper path over here with, the, like, the staircase slash slope or whatever this is. So, let's go down here. It looks like some sort of map or something down there I saw. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Yeah, what is this? Looks like some sort of... 
You'd think I'd be able to scan that, but I guess not, huh? Some more what looked like flora. No fauna in there as far as I could see. Another brain coral or whatever that may be. Some more pipage. If that's even a word. If it's not, then I just made it a word. There's more of those like water. Oh, wait, hold on. You can actually see peepers. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm saying. Or that's what I was talking about earlier. You guys remember when peepers were able to go in and out of it seemingly without any harm? I guess that's what I was talking about. It's just going into here. But where exactly is it taking it? Because I was thinking like maybe it's... Because I'm not seeing any like actual critters in here. Because I was about to say like maybe the critters in like, like in a real life aquarium every now and then, you know, you know, they can't just hang out in the same water forever. So maybe that's why it's circulating the water, but I'm just not seeing whatever aquarium these critters are like uh, this water's for, you know? So anyways, we do have a lot of things to read about. I do kind of want to read about some stuff before we go into this, I assume, bigger main area. Oh, and there's even more stuff than mine. Oh, mine. If I do. All right, well, let's mine this stuff. Read about some of that stuff here in just a moment. And then, of course, we'll go into that new area here in just a sec. Or maybe like 10, 20 minutes or however long it takes for us to read. Of course, you guys can always just skip ahead in the video if you guys aren't interested in, you know, reading and learning about storyline stuff. But I am very interested. And, of course, I don't want to skip over it, especially if there's other people that are interested in the actual storyline. Yeah, that's myth busted right there. Three of them per fabrication type thing, so that's good. Very, very good amount right there, especially because it takes no effort on our part. Just mine it and wait like 10 minutes and come back and we're good to go, right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I guess I'll hang out inside the prawn while we read about this stuff, so let's see. All right, well, let's go to data bank real quick and... Oh, man, I'm dying of thirst. Hold on. Uh, plus 50, plus 30. Yeah, I'm going to need to drink one of those and maybe one of these. There we go. Just kind of keep my vital signs stabilized. All right, well, ventilation control, I guess we could read about that. That's talking about the, uh, the water with the peepers in it. So, ventilation control. Water flowing to and from the primary containment facility is being automatically controlled independently of other safeguards. Data on the water composition has been recorded. Inflow. Water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface. Does that makes sense considering how many of those events we've seen. I think we've seen like two or three of them in different areas uh, around the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility. Well, that makes sense considering it's from a cooler area, right? While microorganism and nutrient counts are substantially higher. Yeah, because, you know, there's more life up there, right? Where it's, you know, being sucked in from, I guess you could say. Outflow. Oxygen-deprived water is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. So something, some creature is being contained in here. It's literally called the containment facility, right? And it's using the water, using the oxygen from the water, like a regular fish fellow, and it's depriving the water of the oxygen, you know, has a lower oxygen count, I guess you could say, I don't know. Enzyme 42 project data, some sort of project, let's read about it. Enzyme 42 project data, according to translated data logs, an indigenous leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme 42. And of course, 42 being the whole, you know, meaning of the universe and life the universe and everything or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I forget the exact quote, which inhibited the symptoms of the Kara bacterial infection in other indigenous life forms. Hmm. So this enzyme 42 is able to, I guess you could say, cure this Kara bacterium or something. I don't know. Let's continue reading. The specimen was captured and contained in a purpose-built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life form's environmental needs, including the import of interdependent flora and fauna via an on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. Ooh, so maybe this critter isn't here anymore, huh? Maybe it's dead, just like the other one in that other medical facility or whatever it was. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine had been unsuccessful. Huh. 
So I don't know if the ancient aliens that are millions of years ahead of me in terms of technology, I don't know if, if they can do it. I don't know why I can't. <laughs> Ion Cube Fabricator. This is uh, this is so far my favorite part of it. <laughs> Basically giving us unlimited ion cubes. This device appears to be the origin of the raw mineral that forms the base of the ion cubes, which power smaller alien systems, likely drawing power itself from the main thermal plant. Yes, I think this place is getting like 20% of that power. This device may represent an almost limitless source of energy. Yeah, tell me about it. I've already gotten like maybe a dozen ion cubes from this thing, all right? And I'm not complaining either. Artifacts. Ooh, yeah, here's those things that we scan, those things. I don't know how else to describe them. Unlike there's that doomsday device we read about earlier on from the quarantine enforcement platform, but now we have the alien building block. Okay, so these aren't really too long. I guess we can read them real quick. And of course, like I said, if you guys aren't interested, you can just skip ahead like two, three, four, five minutes or whatever. See you know, if I'm still talking about this stuff or whatever, but let's continue reading for those of you that want to stick around and, you know, learn about some of these alien artifacts. Ancient building block. This rock-like object features organic as as well as mechanical parts, and there is some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. Huh. So this thing and those warpers are somewhat similar. Interesting stuff. So the, of course this thing is artificial. The warper we all already learned is artificial as well. So this thing shares some aspects with a warper. Very interesting stuff there. It appears to serve no purpose in its current state and is awaiting some kind of activation sequence. Materials such as this may have been a fundamental building block of the aliens' technology or even the aliens themselves. Ooh, so the aliens might not be biological themselves either. Maybe, like I said, maybe the actual alien race, you know, the actual biological entities themselves, maybe they built these self-replicating robots and these robots have become a species in and of themselves and these robots are actually these alien species that are therefore you know making more robots in the form of warpers and stuff and by robot of course that just means you know artificial type critter it doesn't necessarily mean it's a literal like bucket of bolts and screws and stuff right <laughs> it could be a biological artificial biological entity and stuff i don't know i'm not an ancient alien i don't know these things i'm just kind of speculating from a distance alien carving oh yeah this is the yin yang sort of meme very interesting stuff i wonder if it mentions it in the uh in the in the text here let's read ancient alien carving this carving is hundreds of thousands of years old and made from an unrecognized natural fiber grown on an unknown planet it bears striking resemblance to the old Earth yin-yang symbol. Yep, just like I said. Two competing theories may explain this similarity. Number one, aliens visited Earth prior to the 4th century BC and influenced the development of ancient Chinese philosophy. Okay, I think I said Japanese, maybe, maybe it is Chinese, I don't know. Either way, this is basically saying, hey, ancient aliens, literally talking about ancient aliens here. <laughs> aliens visiting Earth in 4th century BC and whatnot, right? Number two, the concept of yin and yang is universal since yin and yang describes the fundamental interdependency of seemingly opposite forces. It may be a necessary existential understanding in some form in all sufficiently developed civilizations. The tapering of the two circles, union, is opposed and infinitesimally small points, the finite, is one logical way to represent this understanding and may have been developed independently by species other than humans. Yes, ancient aliens. Alien statue. Let's read about this one now. And like I said, it seems like these artifacts are from different alien civilizations, different species and stuff. I don't know. Uh, I, ancient Earth Blade, that's the thing that's obviously from Earth, but maybe this alien statue is from uh, some other planet and maybe the alien carving is from some other planet as well. Maybe that doomsday device is from yet another planet, you know, like collector's items and stuff. <laughs> alien statue. This artifact is unpowered, suggesting it served a ceremonial rather than practical purpose. The pyramid resembles vines spiraling upwards toward the warm blue stone mounted above it. It 
It may represent a plant found on the alien's homeworld, a building of religious import, or even the gravitational pole of their home solar system. Hmm, interesting stuff. Let's read about the ancient earth blade, whatever that planet is. <laughs> ancient earth blade. An ancient earth blade dating back to the 13th century. Blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state from the period. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if you guys want to puzzle piece this together, there are seven separate heads of state that I guess got heckin' killed with this one blade around the 13th century. So if you guys want to leave a comment down below saying, hey, that was this person that killed these people during this time, then feel free to do it. If you're like a historian fella and, you know, something's ringing some bells in your head, then feel free to, you know, share it down below. Very interesting stuff here we're learning about, huh? Either way, this evidence supports the theory that the aliens are an ancient space-born civilization engaged in a surreptitious study of less developed species, kind of like the alien zoo theory or something like that in a way, right? Where ancient aliens are not only visiting us, but they're watching us from a distance and seeing how we develop, what we do, what happens from a distance. Kind of like what we do in a zoo where, you know, we're observing animals, horses, bears, lions from a distance in their somewhat natural habitat, right? I don't know if you guys are interested in that. Look up like the alien zoo theory or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but it's something along those lines. Very interesting stuff nonetheless. Holographic projector. This device contains network apparatus and a holographic projection unit. It was likely used as a communications relay, capturing and projecting the image of the user to a remote location. There do not appear to be any other devices in range. Kind of reminds me of some Star Wars, Star Wars memes right there. Nanobots! Scans show some form of advanced nanobot inside this seemingly empty case. Yeah, just like I said, these bots are substantially smaller than any developed within the Federation, and it is not possible to ascertain their exact function. It would, however, be unwise to release them. <laughs> yeah, not like I could release them, even if I wanted to, right? These things, these these cases are seemingly unbreakable, or un I don't know how to open them at least. Organic matter particulator. Ooh, yeah, it's this weird cube thing, huh? They're very interesting stuff. Even that little, like, diagram up here. I really wish I could see, like, a zoomed-in view of this, like, diagram up here, you know? But it's not letting me, uh, like, see, like, a bigger picture view of this, so that's kind of unfortunate. Organic matter particulator. This device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope, likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it while leaving the physical structures intact. So yet another doomsday device, right? <laughs> Although it would function perfectly well as a weapon, it was more likely used to sterilize species for later in how really interesting stuff here, you guys. It was more likely used to sterilize spaces, not species, for later inhabitation. Ooh, -hoo. so if a planet like Earth, I guess you could say, has humans, has life, horses, and all that kind of stuff, right? And ancient aliens were like, hey, I like that real estate. <laughs> I'm going to move in. They release one of these things to essentially do a mass extinction event and just kill everything and then just move in like they own the place, right? <laughs> I guess that's what this thing would be used for, huh? Let's see. Without instructions, it would be unwise to interact with it. Yeah, I mean like, oh, <laughs> come on. That's crazy. Rudimentary tablet. Let's read about this thing, this ancient iPad. This device shares many similarities with the tablets used to access the alien facilities. Although its structure is rather less complex, it may have served a similar purpose, granting security access and storing relevant data, and was thus kept here as a form of legacy support. Huh. So maybe perhaps a more outdated form of the tablets we're currently using to, you know, go in and out of these facilities and whatnot. Hmm. Tracking implant. This is that weird crescent moon type meme. Tracking implant. This construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal consistent with alien transmissions intercepted elsewhere. DNA on the exterior indicates it was once implanted inside one of the life forms indigenous to 4546b. Its size suggesting the subject was a Leviathan class organism. Beyond tracking and broadcasting its location, the implant may have also recorded biological data on the subject. However, this data cannot be retrieved, so perhaps this was put on one of those 
uh, Emperor Leviathan things to kind of keep track of it, but for some reason they retrieved it and put it inside one of these cases or something. I don't know why, but maybe we'll find out a little bit later. And of course, the last one, the translation device. This device stores linguistic data from over 1,000 different languages. Doesn't sound like too big of a number when you're thinking about, you know, Earth having hundreds of languages, other planets seemingly having similar amount of languages and whatnot. It seems like a relatively low number if you ask me. Either way, from over 1,000 different languages, the core of this device may allow alien texts to be read and translated. Ooh, don't want to be reading these aliens' text messages. That's a little bit of an invasion of privacy right there. <laughs> Analysis of the onboard data reveals a number of ancient Earth languages, and the term CHBC Live appears many times in the device's data. Its import is unclear. I, say, I have a feeling that's like some sort of like live streamer. I don't know why. Maybe it's one of the developers' personal Twitch live streams, and he's just advertising it in the game or something. I don't know. Feel free to go Google what CHBC Live is, and I don't know. I kind of want to go Google it real quick and find out what it is first. Hold on. Huh, so interesting stuff here, you guys. So I'm doing a little bit of quick reading, and it's saying that CHBC Live was a forum user who made Chinese translations since the farming update. He died battling cancer before the game was completed, and this Easter egg was added in his honor. Wow, and it's a translation device as well, so it's kind of like a, a salute to this one forum guy that helped translate things to Chinese, and they're just like, honoring him because of course he died of cancer before the game even come out if you guys didn't know subnautica was in early access for like two or three years so that's one of the reasons why i kind of avoided playing it for a while is just because you know i was kind of waiting for the full game to be released so i don't you know play the game and then of course there's a bunch of missing content and then it gets an official release later and then of course i need to replay it again to you know play through all the new stuff right so i didn't want to have to do that but that's very cool that they're kind of honoring this guy in game with someone that I assume really loved the game to a point where they're like helping out translating things to a completely new language. So honestly, I think it was a really cool little move, kind of cool little Easter egg right here. But I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's just <laughs> genuinely really, really cool that they did it. Anyways, uh, its import is unclear. The device seems to be configured to translate into the designer's language. It will not work the other way around, though. Ooh, okay. So it's kind of like a one-way translation thing where something's speaking to you. This translator thing can translate it to your language, but it cannot translate you replying back to the other person's language. I assume the other person would need their own translation device for that to happen, right? So... Very interesting little uh, device here, and of course that would be the last of the artifacts that we're reading. Don't think there's anything else here, nothing's being highlighted at least right now. Advanced theories, oh man, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Sea Emperor Fetus, oh jeez. I guess we could read about this thing real quick. There's a lot of stuff going on here though, you guys. I think we're getting really close to the end of the game or something, you guys, like wow. Sea Emperor Fetus, found preserved in a display case, it was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Ooh, so there is a Sea Emperor either being contained or was contained in this location there was a uh, evacuation notice or whatever you want to call it so i assume maybe the thing escaped i don't know i guess we'll find out here in a bit physiology superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing so maybe this is the critter maybe that explains why this egg was already opened huh Stunted tissue. I don't, I don't know why I didn't put two and two together right there, you guys. It just makes sense. Either way, stunted tissue development suggests the organism expired during the removal process. Rest in peace. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract. Analysis. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in the specimen's digestive system. So it seems like they wanted to do a little bit of, I guess you could say, an autopsy on one of these sea emperor specimens without of course killing the main one the big one so of course they did it on a on a on an offspring of it so i guess that kind of makes sense right so they didn't want to kill the main thing and they probably couldn't kill the main thing so they waited until it laid an egg and then of course ended up doing an autopsy and little examination of the actual fetus itself but of course it died uh, while they're extracting it from the egg because of course the egg is what was sustaining its life because it was just a fetus after all, right? So it was not ready to survive outside of the egg. And probably it being out in dry land area, maybe that helped out killing it as well. Who knows? 
It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacteria from enzymes produced in the specimen's digestive system. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. Yeah, rest in peace. Let's read about the egg casing. Shell composition. The shell casing is formed from thick layers of carbon composite, suggesting an extensive gestation period. This leviathan species may give birth just once per century. Ooh. So it's not like, you know, like a fish where it gives birth to literally hundreds of eggs at once, or lays hundreds of eggs at once. It does one seemingly once per century, perhaps just once in their lifetimes. Ooh. So this was a huge thing they did right here, you guys. They may need to go capture another one of these sea emperor things if that's the case because this one laid an egg they stole the egg seemingly the only egg that it could lay in its life or at least once per century or so and then of course the, the specimen died they didn't take good care of it or whatever they weren't careful enough with it and it died so wow shell casing incisions precise incisions suggest a laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus inside prior to full gestation huh yeah i wonder why they didn't just wait for it to be you know hatched naturally i guess you could say so that's i don't know maybe there's some reason they did it before it was hatched naturally from the egg Maybe we'll figure that out here later. Analysis. Time pressure to develop a bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researchers to open this egg and remove the fetus for study. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. They didn't have the time to wait for it to naturally hatch. So they were like, hey, it's a fetus. We could probably still learn some stuff from it. So, you know, we need to know this information right now. Let's just cut it open. Let's learn as much as we can about it. But unfortunately, that didn't seem to work very well, huh? It is also possible that removed from its parent and natural habitat some vital condition for the infant to hatch naturally was not met. Yeah, that's that's another thing right there as well. Peepers entering the containment facility. That's a short one I guess we could read. This one's kind of medium length right there. I guess we could read about these real quick and of course we'll be done. Peepers entering the containment facility. The pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled with peepers arriving from the surface. The fish show no signs of distress. The specimens scanned have all consumed high quantities of seeds and organic matter from the surface. Some specimens are beginning to show signs of infection. Enzyme host peepers leaving the containment facility. Huh. So perhaps I just thought of something right now. Maybe we're going to read about it here in just a moment. So Perhaps it's bringing in water, you know, fresh water for whatever critter was inside of here. Because, you know, cycling water, getting fresh water, that way it doesn't have the same old water all the time, right? But also, perhaps they're bringing peepers and other fish critters into its area. And maybe this sea emperor critter is healing and perhaps killing the bacterium before it spreads. And that's why this, like, ventilation system is set up so it slowly filters a majority of critters through this area to hopefully decontaminate the planet maybe is that maybe what they're doing trying to slowly but surely heal the whole planet maybe i don't know while at the same time recycling fresh water to the critter to keep it sustained maybe intake recommended man we're reading so much over here oh man i think that was my stomach right there did you guys hear that <laughs> not mine but my in-game Seek fluid and take immediately. Character stomach. All right, well, we're going to need to eat and drink some stuff here in a bit. Maybe head back to the Cyclops here later as well, because, of course, I'm slowly running out of stuff. But, uh, yeah, let's eat and drink. Um, oh, uh-oh. Oh, there we go. There's some water. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, we don't have very much water. I kind of want to head back to the Cyclops sometime soon, because right now we have, like, uh, not too much water. Either way, the outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling back towards the surface. Specimens show no symptoms of infection. Yep, that seems like it. You guys, seems like it's being cured because remember on the intake one, it says some specimens are beginning to show signs of infection, but on the outtake where they've already gone through the system, it says right there, specimens show no symptoms of infection. So it seems like it's healing them. So very interesting stuff we're learning here, you guys. All specimens scanned are carrying enzyme 42, which data suggests inhibits the bacteria. Yep. So perhaps they're hoping that the cured critters end up spreading this enzyme to other critters on the surface and therefore hopefully decontaminating the whole planet of this bacterium. Very, very interesting storyline stuff here. I'm, I'm glad I'm reading through all this stuff, you know. I hope you guys are as well. Leave a comment down below if this story is actually interesting to you or if you're like, hey, I hate this stuff, just heck and skip over it. Hopefully not too many of you guys are like that, though. <laughs> Anyways, uh... 
Specimen's stomach cavities are otherwise empty, suggesting they may have purged the contents before entering the pipes. Huh. Very interesting stuff. Because remember, this, it seemed like they had a stomach full of like seeds and stuff whenever they first came in. So perhaps not only are they trying to decontaminate the, the, the fauna, I guess you could say, but they're also trying to decontaminate the flora. Or at least, you know, maybe the flora can't be decontaminated, so they're just like force puking the peepers <laughs> of all the seeds so the seeds don't spread like contaminated uh, like flora and whatnot right either way assessment if peepers have evolved to distribute the enzyme via the pipe network this may explain part of the mechanism by which life on 4546b has survived since the bacterial outbreak that makes so much sense we've been piecing things together over the last like 20 minutes we've been reading all this stuff and i love that we're learning all this stuff, you guys. Wow. Indigenous life forms. Don't think we really need to read about that at all. I think we've read about everything right here. So if you guys skipped over everything, you guys have missed out on substantial storyline information right there. 